hello guys welcome back to my channel today is vlogmas day 16 like we're really making progress so we just have like nine days left to christmas yay so today i'm going to be decluttering my house i'm going to start decluttering my house today so i'm going to do it like a mini series on this channel where i declutter different areas of my house and the reason why i'm doing this video is because Personally, videos about decluttering, about arranging, cleaning videos motivates me a lot. So I hope this is going to motivate one or two of you out there to also declutter your house and clean and arrange. Um, yeah, I'm in my children's room now, so I'm going to start from my children's room. Uh, personally, I'm not someone who has a lot of things. I don't like clutter, so I don't really have a lot of things, but... My children, for my children, it's a different case. <laughs> Mama Abam doesn't just know boundaries when I'm buying things for my kids or when I'm getting things for my kids. And I'm not as bad as so many moms out there. So, yeah, I'm not bad as so many moms out there. But to me, I feel like my kids have a lot of stuff they, that they are not using. So, I decided to start from their room. You guys, if you see the state of this room, remember this room that I did makeover for and I showed you guys? Yeah. <laughs> just take a look. Take a look at the room. Just take, I finished working on that side, just the shoe parts, and this is what's left there. But look at the ground everywhere. Look at just look at just look at this this table. Just 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 look. <laughs> look, just look at this bed. Just look. Look at the toy basket. Kids generally, you can't really start. I'm trying to teach my kids to be more arranged, but for now it's not working. So anyway, today I've decided to declutter it and yeah. So why do I look like a bunny or like that um, girl power woman, feminism woman? Do you, you guys know her? I'll insert her image somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I just tied this banana because my hair, I, I just put my hair in a small bun here. Uh, and I'm ready to walk. A little bit about some of my plans for next year. I've always been minimalistic with some of the things I do, but next year I've decided to go ham. Like, I've decided to go a bit extreme with minimalism because I realized that this year I accumulated a lot of stuff and I've not been having peace of mind the way I should. Like, I feel like I like a lot of things have just been going on at the same time so i've really not been in the right mental space and i'm trying to get clarity next year i'm trying to be focused next year i need to wait till january to do it but it doesn't make sense why should i wait if i can do it right right now and i was thinking that i'll just wait after all the christmas activities then in january i'll start the new year by decluttering but i can just start now so that i enter the new year already ready i want to i want to hit the ground running from january god help me but yeah this christmas i want to um, give out a lot of things all my children I want to give them out like I want to give them out not because my kids cannot still use them But they don't need everything that they have they, they truly don't need everything they have We can do away with so many things that they have and I don't want things to get spoiled before I give them out So yeah, that's what I'm doing. going to be proactive now And I already know some things that my children will really not use next year Maybe they'll wear it once or twice I know things they'll really, not, they'll really not use next year So I'm going to declutter everything now So I'm going to start now by bringing out stuff from the wardrobes I'm going to take it wardrobe by wardrobe because if I try to bring out everything I'm going to really be stressed out so I'm going to do it wardrobe by wardrobe and yeah I'll start with Ava's and I've already done Ava's shoes um, so I am moving on to Ava's dresses right now and yeah just come along with me So you guys i'm about to show you guys something that pains my heart to really look at so you guys remember my kids wardrobe that was all arranged everything was just spickle sparkle <laughs> this is now what the wardrobe looks like like what what on earth is going on here what exactly is going on here if i can see any footage from that one i will insert it so you guys will see the difference what on earth is all of this anyway you know like you know what it's not like i'm just seeing it for the first time looking this way but the truth is i can't do all the work myself and if i have someone helping me to do the work i can't expect the person not like i raised her you know i can't expect the person 
to do the work 100% the way I would do it. Although some organization would be better, but I can't expect her to do it 100% the way I would do it. And she's really trying. So let me just look on the bright side and, and just appreciate for that there's somebody to help me or else I'll, I'll get really angry with the way things are so what my plan is now is to declutter this space so that organization will be easier uh, I might have to just remove some things permanently from there the fewer the stuff the easier it will be to um, arrange hopefully hopefully okay and this is Cora hi <laughs> Cora what are you doing? Picking yes, these beads, these beads fell all over the ground, so she's helping us pick them. Good job, Cora. So do you guys remember their medicine storage? This is what it looks like right now and I need to declutter a lot of things here. So instead of looking for another box to um, add more medication, I'm going to get rid of a lot of things here. So anytime I go to the hospital and they give my kids antibiotics, I don't give it to them, okay? Simply because I don't believe in giving antibiotics for basically everything, which is what most Nigerian hospitals do. But I still keep the antibiotics in case I see that okay, it's not getting better. But most times, before I get to opening the antibiotics, they would have gotten better. That's why I have some packs of these here. So I'm going to get rid of those um, drugs and I'll just keep only their multivitamins, vitamin C's, and pyritine. I always have pyritine on hand simply because Cora usually gets an allergic reaction to something. I've not yet figured out what that thing is, but she usually gets an allergic reaction to it. So sometimes under her eyes, you see a black mark that turns to, begins to look like bruises at some point before it clears. So I'm not even sure what it is. I think it was flowers at some point, but at this point, I'm not sure what it is. So I always have protein on hand for them. So yeah, kids medication has gas to go okay we're not about to fall sick in this house in jesus name we are divinely protected by god even though i'll still keep some medication there but i just keep like basic first aid so um i have um, i always keep ors even though i've not even used it in the, in the past one year so i think i'm just going to get rid of the one here and just buy some later um i usually keep ors paracetamol and um pyritine and what else bandages and um then there are multivitamins, vitamin C, the multivite, multivitamins, B complex, stuff like that. Those are the ones that I don't mind keeping, but every other thing I'm going to get rid of it. And yeah. Okay, so next, these are all the toys and stuff that I accumulated over the year from party packs, from things I bought randomly. So for these ones, I'm going to give them out this Christmas. I want to make small party packs for children around anywhere i'm going to make small party packs from all these things i'm also going to buy snacks maybe ribena and and um, biscuits just to make like small party packs out of all the toys that i've gotten over the years because these things um uh, even though i've been keeping them for my kids they might not use them and even when i give them give it to them sometimes they spoil it the next day so to me there's no point giving them something i know they will spoil it the next day so that is why I'm going to give it out um, to kids this season. And to be honest, children out there, especially less privileged children, they are going to appreciate these gifts so much more than my children would, okay? So yeah, I'm going to sort out these gifts now and um, I'll just put them aside. Later, I'll make the party packs that I'll take to the less privileged. So that's another update. I'll see you guys later. Everywhere is looking it already. So I'm already done with this one too. Half of it is empty. So yeah, we're making progress. Yes. Cora. Yes. What are you doing? Making something. Are you not supposed to be helping me? Yes. So why are you not helping me? Because because I'm making something for you. What are you making for me? Smiley face. You're making a smiley face for me. Yes. How is the smiley face going to help me now? Look at smiley face. Okay. You guys actually got distracted and started dancing and then see what Cora said to me. Cora, what did you say? Uh, I'll do your video. That should do my video. No, you said 
Why don't you do your video now? <laughs> I was dancing. Next thing I heard is, Mommy, I, I do your video now. Why are you not doing your video now? <laughs> My dear, actually, doing video and do what I want to do is actually tiring. So let me just get everything. But I'm already making progress. So let me get everything to a certain uh, level and then I'll come back and update you guys, okay? Alright, so guys, I'm making progress now. I'm done with the wardrobe. I finished the clutching and arranging it. Let me move my phone. Yeah, so that's the final look for now. I just hope that it remains like this for a while. And then this bed, you guys, I want to sell this bed. I want to sell this bed basically at a giveaway price. So if anybody is interested, contact me through my email. My email is in the description box. Or reach out to me, send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram handle is as a desert space. So it is a four in one convertible bed. Um, you can use it as a baby bed, you can use it as a toddler bed, you can use it as an adult four by six bed. You just need to buy the parts and then convert it. Um, it has been very, it, it was barely used here simply because we've been co sleeping with Eva for a very long time. And, I'm, and from the way things are, she's not going to sleep here again. So the next step for us is to get a double bunk yeah i'm going to get a double bunk so that her and cora can just share bed but yeah so i'm going to be giving it out at a giveaway price the bed the mattress and the mattress is actually a silly mattress is made by silly very good mattress waterproof mattress and i'm also going to throw in bed sheets blankets and bed cover so this is bed a bed cover there are two in one one was used one has not been used so like i said the bed has barely been used so if anybody is interested i'm going to give it out at a giveaway price okay so yeah let me just sell it off and rest okay let me stop let me stop regretting because if i think about how much i bought the bed or the fact that it hasn't been used for you know it hasn't really been used it used to pay me but yeah let me just sell it off and just relax and forget about it um these are all the things i'm going to be giving away all these clothes um some party pack stuff is here some toys some shoes some bags um lunch bags i have lunch bags here i have handbags here so i'm going to be giving out all these things that are here on the floor because to be honest, I really don't need them in my life. Yeah, so I'm giving them out. Somebody is going to appreciate them somewhere. So let me get on with it. Cora, Eva, will you put it back, please? Yeah. Don't open it. I keep it. Let me bring your own for you. Come. Yeah. Keep it. Let me bring your own for you. Come and see. Come and see your own. Come. Come. Eva, what's that? Toy. Mm. Is a water gun? Yes. Do you know what a water gun is? Hmm. Mm. Who did that? Me. Oh, yeah, go and remove it now. Mm. Quickly, go and remove the play doh. Mm. Play doh. Mm.
Okay, yeah. Pick, pick up the beads quickly. Faster, faster. Give them something to be pouring the beads into. Uh -huh. Good, good job. Faster. The room is now very neat and smells so good. I'm actually just swept and mopped the floors. And yeah, so I brought these things into the room. These are the things I'm giving out. I just brought them into the room because where they were before, Eva was going there to play with them. So I've kept them here tomorrow. I'm going to get the remaining party packs and then I'll go and give it out. And yeah, so this is what the room looks like now. The room now looks the way it used to look. Um, I've decluttered everywhere. Yeah, so I try, I removed a lot of stuff from here. So decluttered here. This is Ava's wardrobe. These are her shoes. There are still some shoes downstairs. I'm actually cleaning them. And this is Cora's wardrobe. Look at her famous red dress. And these are her shoes. I think she has three shoes that I'm actually cleaning. But that's all. The down part is empty. And also here. The down part is empty. And like I always say, I'm not in a hurry to fill up the spaces anymore. Um, here they have their toys. This was the toy that I was giving to Cora, to Ava in school the other day. So I think I might get rid of some here. The only thing is that they don't really have a lot of soft toys and sometimes they quarrel for certain ones. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. For now. So anyway, that's it for the room. I'm hoping that the room remains like this for the next one week at least. Hmm? I'm going to call Amarachi and warn her. I'm also going to call Eva and warn her and add Cora to the warning and warn all of them. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, Mama and Kechi here. <laughs> so, hey guys, this is a few days after the whole decluttering and arranging stuff. Um, this week has been so busy for me, so I haven't had time to film the remaining part of this video. So, I'm going to show you guys what I was able to come up with the gifts and the stuff that i'm going to be giving out so these are the things that i'll be giving out today those are dresses those are shoes and these are toys and then i made these party packs i was able to make 16 of them okay so guys when i finished making party packs out of the toys that we had in this house i realized that most of the toys were girl toys you know because they've been receiving these toys all year and they were for girls most of the girl toys were for girls so i had to go out and buy stuff for to make boy to make some boy party packs so that's why i made i was able to make 16 of them so i added a little more stuff to some of the the girl stuff that i had then i made fresh party packs for the boys and i really like how everything turned out for this whole party pack for this 16 pack i didn't spend up to 10k simply because I already had a lot of toys in this house. I already had party pack bags because I don't throw away bags for party pack. Do you guys throw away your bags? I don't throw away the bags. Um, I do throw away some if they get bad or if I see that it's getting too much. But thankfully, this year I didn't throw away a lot of them. So I already had a lot of bags to use to make create the party pack. And yeah, I'm just telling you guys so that just be intentional next year, throughout the year, keep your bags, keep some of the toys and at the end of the year you'll be able to come up with something affordable affordable because i didn't spend i didn't spend so much money making these so yeah you're able to come up with something affordable to give out to kids so it's not about you don't have the money it's not it's not about that there, there must be a way <laughs> where there's a will there is a way okay so these are the things i'm going to be giving to some adults i'm not sure what i'm going to pack them in yet but yeah for these are for three families the reason why i'm showing all this is to encourage people out there Parents, especially, seriously, I'm sure you know that some of the things your children own are too much for them or they can really do without something. So just try and 
um just try and give out some and yeah and no matter how little you think you have there is always something you can give out if your child has only five dresses uh, trust me there's someone out there that does not even have one and if you take one of those five and give somebody out there the person will appreciate you so much more than your child who has five or who has four left okay so yeah let's just spread the christmas cheer do something good for someone so yeah that's just my message that's just the purpose for this video and if you it's already too late for you or you think ah oh, you didn't plan it well maybe next year next year please try from the beginning of next year and just have it in mind i started doing this since i had Cora because she was receiving a lot of party packs especially when she started crutch she was receiving a whole lot of party packs and i just told myself what am i what why is my child why should my child have all these toys just one person and i know for a fact that she's not going to play with all of them so that's what made me start keeping party packs and you know giving them out every christmas and this is the third year yeah so um i think it's a good tradition very soon I, I tried to involve them in this one but they don't really get it eva is like where are you taking my toys to cora keeps asking me where's my own party back <laughs> you know so they don't really get it but hopefully from next year cora will get it better and eva will have to catch up whenever she gets it so yeah um this is their room their room is still as neat as you know the day that i declared it Thank God. Wait, let me check the wardrobe first before I talk. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's still neat. It's still neat. Okay. Let me see here. Okay, okay. Let me see here. She be you passing now. I think. I think you passing. I think you passing. There's space here. There's space here. I might you see come and put this things here and squeeze this thing inside. I think you passing. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, that's just the everyday struggle for for parents out there uh actually if you're someone who likes things to be neat and be a certain way you just have to reduce your standards i was discussing this with um yummy mommy if you guys don't know her you guys check her out yummy mom life yeah she's someone that likes to be organized too i was discussing with her one day i said my dear me i had to reduce my standards so i will not i will not cry <laughs> i will not cry just lower your standards for now when your kids are older then you can really enforce it but yeah so that's going to be the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video you know what to do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please and also leave a comment down below tell me what you guys enjoyed about this video and let's just discuss how do you plan to spend christmas how do you plan to spread the christmas cheer and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye Mwah! <sniffs>